How to make a self-wicking planter with two five-gallon buckets for a tomato plant. One bucket is a reservoir for water, the other bucket it holds the soil, and we're making a wicking container by drilling holes in a container just like this to go in between the bucket. Bucket number one holds the soil and the plant, so we're making a hole in the bottom of that bucket just a little more narrow than the opening of the wicking basket. Then bucket number two is going to hold our water, so we're going to do a water overflow hole around the top of the height of the wicking basket of the container you choose. Now we place bucket number one inside of bucket number two on top of the wicking basket and run this PVC pipe with the angled side down so it's not flush with the bottom of the bucket to where we can fill with water from the top once there's a plant inside. The wicking basket will be also filled with the potting mix and that will help the roots wick up the water that's in bucket number two. Using a potting mix that has cocoa coir added to it is really the best for the wicking purposes of what our soil is doing. And I'm just putting a determinate tomato in here because it doesn't grow as big, filling until the reservoir overflows, adding a little mulch and a trellis.